Hello everybody, my name is Scott Connor and I am an integration developer here at Spiceworks. So in Spiceworks 5.1, you'll be able to do a lot of things uh, with UPS management. Uh, the first major difference you'll see in Spiceworks 5.1 is the UPS group. So now we actually recognize UPS devices as power management devices. Previously, you may have added uh, a manual asset or you may have created your own custom UPS group, uh, but that's no longer necessary. If you have uh, SSH, WMI, or SNMP credentials for these devices on your network, Spiceworks will automatically scan them in, recognize them as battery backup devices, and will give you custom views into the battery power, output, load, and runtime of these devices. So in a, in a lot of cases, you'll have proprietary software or one specific UPS that you can kind of do some monitoring on it, but there's really no unified way, no way to just log in and say what happened, um, which is really kind of where Spiceworks comes in with uh, Spiceworks 5.1. Uh, it, it'll give you that kind of one pane of glass view into UPS management.